What's going on guys, this is Mike, and I'm coming to you guys with the second installment of the A through Z logo series. So basically now I'm teaching you guys how to make a B logo design. So on the screen here you can see um, the sketch I made, the original draft, and then the final logo design. So with the final one, I'm going to be making two versions. So one 3D and one without this right here. So y'all can choose whichever you want to use um, with this design it's always easier to sketch the logo beforehand so I'm trying to go for a really minimal look with these logos so if that's y'all's taste then these are the videos for you so um, yeah so I always usually start out with the sketch but you don't have to I mean it's easier in my opinion so yeah let's get uh, let's get started I'm gonna kind of do it freestyling it so if I make any mistakes throughout this video sorry about that it's kind of kind of hard to just go for it so I'm gonna make a new um, a new tab so file new and then select um, the dimensions y'all want you can pretty much use anything so the first thing I'm gonna do is it's a little bit weird I'm gonna use a rectangle so I just select the rectangle tool make a rectangle and I'm gonna select the um, selection tool deselect the rectangle tool kind of zoom in a little bit and I'm gonna angle it slightly so uh, let's do that so you can just give that a slight angle like that right there that uh, looks good and another one so I'm gonna take another rectangle and just kind of drag it across like that so now we have our foundation really now we start with the circles so select the ellipse tool shift drag and wait till it clicks the path right down here and another one over here make sure it clicks the path All right. so now I'm gonna make these two attached to this one right here so shift kinda attach it right there select shift and just kinda drag it until it looks like it's there alright so um, if I did this correctly, we should be able to select all of them, come to the Shape Builder tool, and just fill this path. It looks like there are gaps. If there weren't, it would have those checkers right there. So let me make sure there's no fill. Yep, there's a gap right there. So I'm going to just drag it down and make sure those are closed. All right. So now we should just be able to fill it right there. So completely filled. You guys can see that. Now I want to get rid of these uh, rectangles. So. Um, select it, delete it, no problem. This one I'm gonna kinda save, so I'm gonna put this one right over here, just for now. Alright, so now we have the base right here. So, second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate this. So, selection tool, select all of it, Alt, drag it up. Okay? Now, I want to solidify this right here. So, I'm gonna select it all, and in Pathfinder, if you don't know where that is, Windows and then Pathfinder, select this one right here, Unite. So I click that and you can see it grouped them all and attached them to one layer essentially. All right, so I'm gonna make this one a little bit smaller than this one right here. So the way I'm gonna do that is Shift and just kind of drag it like that right there. Uh, that's a little bit too small, let me make it a little bigger. All right, so I wanna align this angle right here with this one and to do that I use this this is kind of like our ruler right now so I'm gonna put that back here and I'm gonna zoom in and kinda just try to eyeball it and angle it right there alright it needs to be a little bit more yep just like that I don't really need this anymore so let's get rid of it all right, now what I want to do, I want to make it a lot closer. So I'm just going to kind of drag it down just like that. And let's make it around that size, perfect. I want this circle to be aligned with this circle because when I do the stroke, I want it to have a straight line going upwards. So I'm just going to take this and just drag it across. And there we go, perfect. So as you can see, it's lined up on this one as it is on this one right here. This one's going to be kind of, I guess, longer in a sense. So you can see this one is more, it's more um, condensed while this is a bit lengthy, but that's okay. 
All right. So now what I want to do is select all of them, back to Pathfinder and unite them all. And this is where I want to start to stroke the shape. So go to Window, Stroke, and I have that right over here. And I just want to bump up the stroke. Just like that. And align stroke, put it on the outside. Make sure it's on the outside. It's very important. All right. And just keep going. Keep making that stroke go up. And that looks about right. Perfect. Let's make sure. There we go. All right, so now you have this kind of weird blob going on. And easy way to get rid of that, you select it all. Just select them and close that out, just like that. So cancel out the shape right here. And then there we go. So we have that basic done. So now I just want to connect this and this right here, and that's easily done. You just take the pen tool. Actually, no, let's make it a rectangle. Rectangle tool and just kind of drag it down, just like that. Make sure it's on fill, not stroke. Selection tool, zoom in, kind of align it with that and kind of just shrink it, just like that. So it kind of takes up those spots right there. And if you want to be really precise, just go zoom in and just keep messing around with it until it's right on the point, the anchor point, essentially. Just like that, but you can guys can see that it's sticking out a little bit, so again, just edit it slightly. Alright, so there's our basic shape. And I'm going to go ahead and trim it so everything is basically good to go. So I'm going to select it all. Pathfinder, Unite, oh, whoops, sorry. Object, Path, Outline, Stroke. So I outline all the stroke and then I, I'm i actually going to zoom in, take my shape builder tool and just kind of erase the parts that are sticking out. Make sure to hold alt when you erase. There we go. All right, so there's the basic B logo design. So y'all can have your take on it. You can make these curved. You can do whatever you want. This is just the basic design. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make it have that like 3D kind of texture to it. So I want to make sure this is all connected. So select it all. Pathfinder, Unite. So it's all one, one piece now. Alt, duplicate it. Just kind of drag it down just like that. It's kind of weird now. Selection tool, select all of them. Go back to Shape Builder tool. Alt. And cut these two pieces off. So now it has that kind of, I guess, 3D effect to it. But I don't really like this part right here because it kind of curves into it. So I want to cut that off. So I'm going to take a rectangle tool. I'm going to come right here. And I'm just going to drag up just like that. Zoom in, select them all, and just kind of cut that right there. And delete that shape right there. And I'm just going to kind of trim the pieces that I don't want so it flows perfect with the shape. So there you have it. So if you want as well, since uh, since we're on the point of like add additions to the uh, the shapes, you can actually add a um, border around it if you wanted to, which I can go ahead and show y'all. So I want to make this shape smaller, so you select it all, shift and shrink it, put it let's say right here in the center, and um, let's see, um, go to the polygon tool, shift, make a polygon right there. Let's put it in the center of the screen. One has a few sides, six sides I believe. Let's make it more so we just drag down uh, 
Let's do eight size, that's fine. Let's make sure it's a stroke by hitting the reversal on the, the um, color ta tablet. And let's add some weight to it. Try to, you guys, I'm eyeballing right here, so I'm not doing exactly right, but if you guys want to be precise, you can go ahead and do that if you wanted to. All right, so now we have a border here. So that's starting to look like a professional logo. So if I was an app company, if I was um, a designer um, or a business and I want to have a clean, minimal logo design as my branding, I would do something like this. So at first, it doesn't quite look like it's there, but additions to the logo design, you start to see it come together. And since I want to go with the theme of it being all rounded, I'm going to make the border rounded as well. It's really easy to do. Um, come here and get your direct selection tool. While this is selected, you guys can see these little balls around um, the inside of the shape. I'm going to select one of them and just kind of drag slightly in like that. And just give it that kind of rounded feel to it. Um, and I just want to make this a little bit smaller. Just because it's a little bit too big for me. Alright, in the center right there. Okay, that looks good. And I want to make sure all of this comes together. It's all one shape. It's all one piece. And really easy to do. Select everything. Object. Path. Outline stroke. Everything is outlined. It's good to go. And the final piece of the puzzle is you go to Pathfinder, Shape Modes, Unite All. So, there you have it. So, I could, what, make a brand out of this? Let's name it something. Um, random word. Um, blueprint. Blueprint. Let's make that bigger. and kind of line it in the center and I'll change the font real fast no you know what I'll just leave it like that so it's it, it takes time to do these kind of things but in the end product you just gotta keep working at it and if you do it eventually you can have a minimal logo design like that and then you can use that and it looks pretty cool on a shirt on a backpack or a hat even so yeah so if you all have any other questions for me uh, down in the comments I try to respond to as many as I can it's kind of hard um, if you have any inquiries for me contact me on Twitter at Goldfield Mike subscribe if you like the tutorial guys I'll be making A B C through Z so like 26 um, logo tutorials like this um, yeah, I hope you enjoy, guys. Um, I'll see you with the next one.